aldosterone. It regulates blood pressure, regulates blood volume, and it regulates sodium reabsorption by the kidneys. It is secreted in the zona glomerulosa of adrenal cortex. Zona glomerulosa cells use cholesterol to make aldosterone. Aldosterone is hydrophobic. It needs to be transported in the blood bound in the albumin. Release of aldosterone is under conditions of low blood pressure. Aldosterone secretion increases if there's high levels of angiotensin 2 or potassium in the blood or ECF. Aldosterone secretion decreases if there's high levels of sodium in blood or ECF. Since aldosterone is hydrophobic, it diffuses in cells of distal convoluted tubule and collecting tubule. In cytoplasm of the cell, it will bind to the mineralocorticoid receptor to form aldosterone receptor complex. This complex will then diffuse to nucleus of the cell and undergo transcription of DNA and mRNA. mRNA leaves the nucleus through nuclear pores and it is translated in ribosomes into proteins to allow more sodium reabsorption and potassium and hydrogen secretions. It increases sodium and potassium pumps on the basal membrane of the cell. It also increases the epithelial sodium channels or NAC of principal cells. NAC and sodium potassium pump allow the movement of sodium from the filtrate to renal capillaries. Sodium is lost in the urine and attracts water therefore aldosterone increases sodium to increase blood pressure. Reabsorption of urine happens when principal cells secrete potassium and comes into the cell because of sodium potassium pump and because of its high intracellular concentration, it will then diffuse out to potassium channels on apical membrane and enter the filtrate of tubular lumen. Renin angiotensin aldosterone system In the liver, it releases pre-enzyme known as angiotensinogen. Kidney release enzyme called renin due to low fluid flow that converts angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. When angiotensin reaches the lungs, it activates angiotensin converting enzyme found in pulmonary secretion and also produced in vascular epithelium that converts inactive angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Then it acts on adrenal gland that will produce aldosterone as a product. Aldosterone will now have effects on the body. 